Most of us are creating content, but very few of us are making the most out of each piece of content that we create. While we should be spending as much time marketing and distributing our content as we do creating it, that rarely happens. So in this video, I'm gonna share a few easy strategies to help you make the most of what you're creating using AI tools and a simple system. It all starts by zeroing in on one key idea. For me, that is usually going to be a YouTube video because this is my core long form piece of content. So I'm gonna use this video as a starting point where I shared how to turn your expertise into multiple streams of income. If you're doing YouTube as well, that's amazing, but it doesn't have to be. Your starting point could be an Instagram reel, a TikTok, a blog post, any one piece of content. So now that we have that core piece of content, it's time to stretch it out and turn it into different content types. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is turn this YouTube video into a blog post. Now, I film all my YouTube videos using the tool Descript. This tool is an absolute must use, okay? I have a intro tutorial, which I will link for you down below, but it is going to make your life so much easier. And it has a lot of AI tools built in to make the process of filming and editing much faster and easier. So because I filmed with Descript, it has automatically generated a transcript of what I said. So all I'm going to do is hit Command A to select all here. Then I'm going to open ChatGPT, go to my project for YouTube, and then I'm going to paste in the transcript and ask it to automatically format this for me into a blog post. So here is my video transcript. Please format into a blog post. I'm going to paste in that transcript. So as you can see, it's all formatted and ready to go. How amazing is that? This used to take me so long to do it manually. So then when it's done, all I need to do is copy and paste this over to my blog. So for example, we're gonna take this, go over to my Squarespace blog and paste it in. Perfect, that just saved me so much time. You could also use this exact same process to turn this video into an email for your list. Now write an email to my list. And as you start to work with ChatGPT more, it's going to start to understand your voice and how you want to format everything. So as you can see, it's pretty much nailed it for me right away. But you can always provide more instructions for it and go back and forth with it like it's a conversation to get the copy exactly how you want. So even if you're not using a YouTube video as your core piece of content, you can still absolutely do this. So for example, let's say that you had a one minute reel that you wanted to then expand on and turn into a blog post and email, you could follow the same process. So with the script, you can import in any file. So as long as you create a new project, you'll see add file and then you can upload your content of choice. Okay, now let's turn this one video into short form clips that we can use on social media. Now I do have a full video that shows you how to do this. So I will link to that down below. But basically what you can do is from this script, you can automatically take clips of your initial video and share that out as content. Okay, so think of it as bite-sized pieces from your core video. That's the first way that you could repurpose. So for example, with this video, I'm going to go to Underlord, scroll down to create clips. I'm going to choose the number of clips I want and the duration and hit submit. Okay, great. So let's click on one. And as you can see, they have automatically generated a clip for me that I could share on social media. And often I just need to make a few small tweaks. So for example, I think that I could be a bit more centered. So I'm going to change that up by just adjusting me more to the center and I'm going to remove their logo. Cool, let's have a look and we're good to go. So there's that way of generating clips, but also you can just repurpose the idea. So I could take the concepts that I'm talking about here and then turn that into B-roll reels with text on top, sharing one of these lessons, for example. So let's say I wanted to do that. I would go back to ChatGPT and say something really simple, like I want to create three reels with B-roll and text on top. Please pull three key lessons from this video that I could use. And as you can see, they've given me ideas for what the text on screen should be, what the voiceover should be, and what the B-roll should be. So just having a sidekick like this to help brainstorm these ideas is amazing. Of course, you want it to all be your content and your personal opinions and voice, 
but using this as an assistant I think is just awesome. Okay, now beyond this, you could also create shareable graphics. So for example, creating a carousel based on this idea. If we go into Canva, you'll see that I have a carousel template here. So that is one piece of advice for you. Template as much as you can so that we can make this as simple as possible for you. I know that you have a lot going on in your business beyond content. So that's why I want it to be as easy as possible. So I could format this video into a carousel. So back into ChatGPT. And all I said was, now I would like to format this video into a carousel post for Instagram. And they've gone ahead and done that for me. And now I could just bring this over into Canva. Okay, there's actually an integration with Canva inside ChatGPT. So I want to test this out and see if I could get that text to automatically turn into a carousel. Let's see. Okay, that didn't work. And they want me to copy and paste my content into Canva. But I can imagine that will soon become an option for us. Okay, so that's how to take the exact content and repurpose it in different ways but also you can just use the main idea as the starting point to give you different angles where you could talk about that subject so here are a few quick prompts to help you get more out of your initial piece of content for example you could ask yourself when did you first learn this what was the backstory there as you came to know this information what are the biggest mistakes that people make when they try this what do you wish you knew earlier? What's the easiest way to implement this? And what's one myth or misconception around this topic? So it's not just taking the content you have and spreading that out. It's also using the idea and determining, okay, how can I stretch this even further? So that is how you make the most of each piece of content you're creating and get even more reach, views, and sales from your content. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is one piece of content that you're going to be repurposing this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon with another video. Bye.